Every year, Americans throw away 50 billion food and drink cans, 27 billion glass bottles, and 65 million plastic and metal jars. More than 30% of our waste is packaging material. Where does it all go, one might ask? Well, unfortunately, 85% of our garbage is dumped in a landfill where it can take many years, sometimes never, to decompose. For example, one sheet of notebook paper takes two to five months to decompose. A single banana peel takes six months. A plastic bag can take up to 10 to 20 years. A cigarette bud takes 10 to 12 years. An aluminum soda can can take 50 years to decompose. Batteries, 100 years. And unfortunately, plastic bottles never really decompose. Hi, I'm Lindsay Attaway, and in this short film, we will explore VSU's effect on the environment and how they recycle and dispose of waste. And finally, how at the end of the day, you can make a difference. First, Kim McDonald will present the current environmental state. Thanks, Cody. Hi, I'm Kim McDonald. I'm here to talk about Earth Day. This year on Earth Day, VSU held a light out at lunch at Palm Dining Center to show Sodexo's commitment to energy conservation. Sodexo is the school's catering company. Sodexo also encouraged staff and students to eat peanut butter and jelly sandwiches instead of hamburgers. Eating a PB&J instead saves 133 gallons of water, 24 square feet of land, and 2.5 pounds of greenhouse gas emissions. This year marked Earth Day's 40th anniversary, and the celebration is getting bigger and bigger. But obviously, we still have more work to do, because within the 51 feet I've walked for this interview, we're still finding more trash. Back to you, Cody. Thanks, Kim. Sometimes she calls me Cody. Now Caleb will discuss the effects the VSU parking deck has on the environment. Thank you, Lindsay. Hi, I'm Caleb Tesla Marion, and today I'll be talking about the VSU parking deck and how it impacts our environment. One student from VSU was so passionate about the impact of the environment that he went to great lengths to oppose it. But did they really need to be opposed? What impact do they really have on the environment? Look what we have here. Two cars parked efficiently close in a parking deck. Where would they park if it wasn't for the parking deck? Certainly not out here in this packed passage. The parking deck offers double the amount, maybe triple the amount that the parking lot has to offer. What else can we find? This parking deck is actually good for the environment. This entire area was nothing more than asphalt, where cars were parked inefficiently. But now, And now, look at these plants. Look at the bird. Look at these trees. And most importantly, our riverbank. I'm Caleb Tessamari, reporting from the parking deck. Back to you, Lindsay. Thanks, Caleb. Now Nicole will present VSU's Tailgating for Football and New Recycling Center. Thanks, Lindsay. Hey, everybody. I'm Nicole Quint, and I'm out here today at Baysmore Hydro Stadium to tell you some things that you can do for recycling on VSU game days. Now, I know that all of the fraternities, sororities, and other campus organizations love to come out here and support their Blazers on game days by tailgating. And one thing that VSU is doing to cut back on trash and to help recycling here at VSU on game days is they give all the tailgaters a red plastic bag to put all of the recyclables in, such as their glass, their cans, and in paper products that they're using. Then volunteers come out here and they get all of the red plastic bags and they take them over to the VSU Recycling Center where they're processed and recycled. This is an example of how much trash is left over from a VSU Blazer home game. Now what is VSU doing to help cut back all of this and recycle the things that can be recycled instead of having it all just swept away? 
As of February 2007, VSU made many changes to help the recycling program here. First of all, they, they put in the recycling center here at Tomb Street across from the grocery. Also, there are two student assistants that are assigned as the VSU's recycling crew. The city also donated barrels for recycling and they donated a dumpster that is used for cardboard, which is supposedly emptied every day. Um, basically, we keep up the lawn, cut trees, um, mow the grass, pick up paper. Paper. Um, no, it's not so bad unless it's after a football game. Mm -hmm. After some some of the bigger events, yeah. you know, there's a lot of trash. Yeah. And we try to go ahead and knock that out as quick as we can. This BS Recycling Center is part $29,000 worth of recycling dumpsters that were put around campus to help with the recycling program here at BSU. As you just saw, BSU is a pretty clean campus and our K and groundskeepers are helping to keep it that way. Back to you, Lindsay. Thanks, Nicole. Now Shannon will tell us about the organization SAVE on campus. SAVE, an organization at VSU that first started at Drexel Park, is the reason behind VSU's environmental habits. With the aim to stop students from using styrofoam cups, SAVE quickly began increasing its volunteers and pushing for recycling bins on all floors and buildings here at VSU. As of now, the main problem SAVE is facing is people placing trash in recycling bins which could contaminate the items being recycled. They are now working with the American Lung Organization to fight against biomass facility, a plant being proposed here at Valdosta that burns waste such as sludge. If you want to join SAVE, they meet every Wednesday at the Bailey Science Center Room 1480 at 8 p.m. Back to you, Lindsay. Thank you, Shanna. Finally, Jake will present us with one possible solution to keeping VSU cleaner. Hey guys, it's Jake. I'm out here on the campus of VSU today to try a new solution that we've uh, been coming up with to try and stop people from littering and keep our campus a little cleaner. Uh, we haven't tested it out yet, so this is uh, the first run, and I'll be your guinea pig for the day. So, uh, here goes nothing. What? What the hell is he here for? Here are three simple ways you can help save the environment from these harsh products. Reduce, reuse, and recycle. Reducing the amount of waste you produce is the best way to help the environment. There are lots of ways you can do this. For example, buy products that do not have a lot of packaging. You can also look for things that are packaged in material that do not require a lot of energy or resources to produce. Thirdly, reuse. Instead of throwing things away, try finding ways to use them again. For example, use all writing paper on both sides. With these three simple steps, you can continue to make Badassa State University environmentally friendly. Thanks guys. Well, I hope Jake's okay. That concludes our short film, and we hope that you are inspired to make a difference.